Kidney cancer is a fascinating disease. It's one of the reasons that I went into this field. The other reason I went into this field is the expectation that we can cure a lot of people and the people that we can't cure, we can extend their life significantly. Treatments for kidney cancer have exploded. When I started, there was really no drug therapy available for kidney cancer. Chemotherapy does not work for kidney cancer and the drugs we had at the time were not very effective. For patients that have advanced disease, we now have many, many drugs available for kidney cancer and a lot of the initial science that went into developing a subset of those drugs actually came from one of our urology laboratories here at Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Nowadays, patients with advanced disease are treated with a combination of drugs that improve the immune system ability to fight the cancer and drugs that are specifically targeted to treat the cancer or combinations of drugs that make the immune system fight the cancer off better. In those patients, we still use surgery to remove the kidney where everything started in some subsets of patients, or even remove other deposits of disease that the patient may have around their body. In some cases, we may radiate areas of spread of disease. And in other cases, we can get rid of areas of disease by sticking needles into them and heating them or freezing them. Those are patients with advanced disease. The majority of patients that are found to have a kidney tumor are actually found to have it at a very early stage, thankfully. Patients with very early stage kidney tumors can frequently be washed because believe it or not, many of them turn out to not be harmful. So if you have a very small tumor, often we can do nothing and keep an eye on it. For some patients that are sort of in between those two extremes, we start with surgery and increasingly we have other options other than surgery to treat those localized confined tumors to the kidney as well. But the mainstay of treatment is still surgery. That could be surgery to remove a tumor from the kidney. We call that a partial nephrectomy. If we do that, we are just as likely to cure somebody as we would be if we had removed the entire kidney, but we can save the function of that kidney. So when it's feasible to do so, we like to remove just the tumor and leave the healthy kidney behind with that partial nephrectomy technique. In patients where that's not feasible, we will typically remove the whole kidney. And in some circumstances, that kidney tumor has actually grown into the vein or spread to lymph nodes, and we can remove those at the time of removing the kidney.